The Yellow Box Pro is a really good solution for live streaming anywhere. Specifically, I like to use it for youth sports because I don't want to live stream the games with my cell phone and have shaky cam footage. The Yellow Box Pro allows me to have a more professional live stream because it allows me to have a SIM card, I can tether off my iPhone. So there are some different ways that I can actually live stream all from this dedicated device. So in a second, I want to take you outside so you can see a demonstration of how I set up for local youth sports. And this demonstration will actually be done at a baseball field. Now, this video is being done because YC Onion actually sent me over a pretty cool accessory for the Yolo Box Pro, which is the cage that goes around the Yolo Box Pro. Now you might think, hey, it's just a cage, but when it comes to cable management, I'm not the best. And so having a dedicated device to help me keep all my cables in line, help me keep my audio in check, is definitely a useful tool. Now the YC Onion cage is really easy to put together. It actually comes in four different parts. And once you screw them together and put them on your Yolo Box Pro, you have a nice accessory for your other accessories. This cage actually has cold shoe mounts on the side. So I can mount a cold shoe device on the left side and on the right side of the device. So if you're gonna be using external microphones or external lighting, it's pretty easy to mount that on this solution rather than trying to find an empty space on your tripod to mount them. Now what I really like about this device is you have these adjustable cable management adapters. So if I unscrew it, I can actually raise this up. And because every HDMI cable is different, the length, the padding is really different, you can adjust this to the size of that HDMI cable and make sure that your cables are locked in place. And you have these adapters placed directly over your USB-C for your cable, USB-C for your output, HDMI port, USB port, and your other HDMI ports here on the Yellow Box Pro. Now the cage on the Yellow Box Pro has a bunch of different mounting points and you'll see here shortly that it's easy for me to mount this Yellow Box Pro on my tripod right next to my camera. So everything is in one centralized location and just easily accessible. And I think the cage makes it feel like a really good tank of a machine. Like it feels sturdy in my hand, it feels like a controller now. And I really like that feel. And that's a big thing for me is I got to like the equipment that I'm using. And so with the cage on here, not only do I feel protected, but I actually feel like I want to use the device even more for events. Now enough talking, let me take you outside and show you the demo of this setup. And while the transition is happening, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new here to the channel. We're at one of my favorite places, the baseball field. I love this sport playing up. I'm gonna walk you through how to live stream it. So whether it's the baseball field, the soccer field, the football field, and you want to live stream it without having to use your phone, this is gonna be the setup that you might wanna consider. I wanna walk through everything that I'm doing. Now it is a little overcasty. We do have some rains coming down right now. So if we go through a little fast, it's because I don't want to get rained out with all my equipment here. So let's get started with the setup. So right now I am on the third base side of the field. So typically I try to find a location where the parents aren't sitting to get all my equipment set up. Now, some of this equipment you obviously won't need. It's a little much, but if you are doing any type of more professional work or you wanna do this for a living, maybe add it to your photography of the games as well, this is an easy way to do it. So I have this travel tripod. This is a carbon fiber tripod that I'm gonna use for uh, the majority of the equipment that I'm gonna to use to set up. The camera that I'm gonna use is my Sony ZV-E10 and I'm glad I put a battery in here because as I was setting up everything in my cart, I definitely forgot to check if there was a battery in this camera. So we will put this onto our tripod. And as I'm setting up the camera, I did realize there is a very important piece of gear that I left, which is a little adapter to connect my camera to the next piece of the device I'm gonna bring out here, which is the Yolo Box Pro. Now, I might actually swap cameras when I'm recording this video, but as of right now, I have my Sony ZV-E10. Here we have the Yolo Box Pro. Now this is the essential part of the live stream setup. This actually has a SIM card in it. So I have an AT&T SIM card in here that allows me to connect to the internet and actually live stream the actual event. So I'm gonna actually mount this on my tripod. Now this tripod has an adapter 
for your phone, but I like to take this adapter off and I actually use it to mount my YOLO box on it. Now on the YOLO box, I actually have a cage that was sent over from YC Onion and that's part of the reason that I'm doing this video. So uh, I wanna thank YC Onion for supporting the channel and sending me over this cage for the YOLO box pro because this cage allows me to have some cable management which I didn't have in the past. This cage also has a lot of mounting points on it so I can put this pretty much anywhere I want and attach multiple devices to it and which is what I'm gonna do for this particular setup. So right now we don't have to worry about any baseball games actually being featured right now. It is a middle of the week day. So I'm going to go ahead and mount on my Yellow Box Pro onto my setup here and continue to get some more accessories that we need. Now, in addition to this camera, I actually want to set up a second camera. So I'm going to actually go into the outfield and set up a second camera and bring that in wirelessly into the live stream. So this is a pretty cool setup in my opinion. Now, I'm a techie. I love all of this stuff and it's not that difficult to do. The connections are really, really simple. So this is a wireless transmitter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the receiver on this side of the uh, setup because we're going to go to the other side for the transmitter in the other camera. So I'm just gonna grab my antennas for the setup. Screw on the antennas for the receiver here, like so. Then grab a battery. One of the things I like about the YC Onion cage is that it has cold shoe adapter mounts on it. So on the left and the right, and I'm actually gonna take my receiver and slide it into my cold shoe adapter mount. And this is gonna allow me to have some really good cable management and just a much cleaner setup overall. So now I'm gonna go into the outfield, have my tripod. This is a Rabe tripod and this thing is tall. We're gonna go and take this to the outfield on the same third base side. And then I'm also gonna take my camera as well and a power cord and get this one set up. So let's go. All right, so now I have my transmitter down here and a battery on the transmitter. And this is an HDMI connection and this particular uh, PTZ camera is a BZB gear PTZ camera. And I just have it connected directly into it, making sure that the power is on, but you may be trying to figure out how do I actually run power to this camera? Cause there is no built-in battery for this camera. Well, I actually have a power cable, power cord rather, that is running all the way down here. I believe this one is a hundred foot cord and it's running from my main station. And I'll show you the power unit that I'm using for it. Uh, the power unit comes in handy, taking it everywhere. And don't be surprised if another parent at the field wants to borrow your power to charge up their phone. Now, we've got this camera all set up, powered on here. And before we extend this all the way up into the air, we'll go ahead and turn on our transmitter while we're down here. And let's go ahead and get this raised up. And yes, I know that the unit is hanging. It shouldn't be hanging, but hey, I'm trying not to get caught in the rain and I'm trying to add some value to you in case you want to do this. So we're all good. Let's go. All right, so we're back up here. We're going to grab our Rock Piles power station and get this turned on. So we're actually going to power on our camera with this unit. And I like this unit because a small portable has USB connections on it, a couple DC volt outs, and it'll definitely get you through the entirety of a baseball game. We're gonna go ahead and turn on our transmitter or receiver rather. So it'll be bringing in our video over from our other camera. And we want to probably bring in some audio on our setups. Now this is the move link to M2 from Godox. They sent this over a few weeks ago. And what I like about this is it's a wireless audio transmission system. So it's pretty easy to use, uh, similar to uh, what I'm using now. So we have a transmitter and a receiver. So I'm gonna take the receiver, grab the receiver cable, and simply attach the receiver to the other cold shoe mount on our YC Onion cage. So again, this cage is like really convenient for stuff like this. 
and then plug this into the mic port on the cage itself. And then the microphone can be actually given to the coach or can be boomed close enough to the, the participants so that you can get some better audio into your feed. So for the time being, I'm just gonna mount this on my camera. Now we need to grab a HDMI cable and plug this in from our receiver to bring in our video feed. So let me go on this side here and plug in our HDMI cable. And what I like about this cage is that you can adjust the cable management portions of it. And I'm gonna adjust that up so that I can plug this in. I'm actually gonna plug this in the HDMI too because this is my secondary camera. Now, like I mentioned, the camera that I have brought out is my ZV-E1 and I totally forgot the little adapter for it. So we're just gonna show the one camera angle because it is starting to pick up a little bit on the rain side. So rather than switch the camera I'm recording with to over here, then you'll just see the one camera angle. But if you guys want me to do another tutorial, definitely don't mind doing it. I live really close to the baseball and the soccer field, so it's pretty easy to bring the equipment out here and do it. So we've got our YOLO box turned on. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the brightness of the screen all the way up. Typically I do that because we're outside anyway. Then I'm gonna go into create a live stream and this will be called our baseball game and hit okay. And then we'll go ahead and create this event. We're gonna go into the event itself and as you can see, I'm actually having the connection from my, Yolo, from my Hollyland, which is the wireless transmitter system. So we're just gonna do a quick reset, make sure we get our camera to actually appear over here onto our Yolo box. So now that everything's hooked up, we can see that we have our camera that's high in the air connected. And let's go ahead and just make that full screen. So you can see we got a really great shot of the outfield. And the camera that I'm actually using is a PTZ camera. And because I'm using a PTZ camera, I can control the pan, the tilt, and the movement of the camera. So I can actually rotate this camera while the game is playing to make sure that I'm really capturing the action. So if it happens on one sideline, or in the outfield, I can definitely move this camera to get the best shot. And then I can even zoom in, and then I can zoom out as well, depending on where the action is, using either the included camera controller, or the camera remote rather, or using a dedicated camera controller. So if you haven't checked out the other camera videos here on the channel where I talk about PTZs, I'll definitely make sure that those are available at the end card so that you can check those out and just see why I love using PTZ cameras so much. So this is just a demonstration of how you can live stream your youth sports a little bit better than just using a cell phone, having a nice tripod, having a dedicated device like the Yellow Box Pro and the YC Onion Cage to help connect everything together and just have a nice clean setup. And if you wanna throw in a PTZ camera just for some added movement, it just helps make the audience watching those youth sports actually able to see the sports because you can zoom in and hear the sports because you have a microphone connected to it, which is just a better overall viewing experience. I hope this viewing experience has been good for you. Hit subscribe if you're brand new to this video. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.